Well, in the last video, I talked about interfacing um, uh, multiple multi-digit uh, common anode display with the AT eighty nine S fifty two, and today, uh, in this video, I will be talking about um, using a common cathode display with the AT. 89 S52 through 4511 or CD4511 uh, seven segment driver. So 4511 is uh, is IC that takes BCD uh, BCD inputs. So four inputs for the digits zero to nine, and then converts it to common cathode code and drives the uh, displays and this display right here uh, it's um, it has three digit control pins and A to G pins and these pins are connected to 470 ohms resistor but I'm not uh, using any resistor here because uh, the setup that I have I've, te I've measured the current and it's about 22 milliamps which is uh, for each digit uh, which is obviously within spec so I didn't u bother to use the resistors but uh, by all means we should and the 4511 has uh, these control pins uh, this is a, a lamp test so when this is this is active low so when this is low all the segments are lit up we don't want that so we've tied it to VCC this is the uh, blank I think pin so when it's uh, low uh, it blanks out the display so we don't want that either so we tied it to VCC and this is the latch enable uh, uh, pin uh, which is active high and if we put high there it will store the current displaying value and keep it there and uh, no matter what's the what the input is it's gonna store that uh, value let's say um, uh, the it was displaying 2 and we made latch enable high then it will continue to show two uh, but we uh, any changes on the input won't affect the two so yeah and uh, these are common cathode displays so uh, current comes in and it has to go to the ground so this is how we control the digits and D1 is connected to uh, port 2, pin 6, uh, through a 2.2 kilo ohms register, and so are the others. This is D2 connected to P25, and this is connected to D3 is connected to P2, pin 4, and we uh, sequentially make. Uh, uh, if you put one here the display is connected to ground and the corresponding display lights up and so that's all about the hardware and oh I forgot uh, you see these are 10k pull-up resistors connected to the port pins I didn't have that f at first and the displays were very dim and I tried uh, fiddling about with the frequency thought maybe uh, the frequency if high enough it will increase the in, uh, intensity of the light but it didn't make any uh, significant change so uh, the next culprit was the transistors themselves so uh, these are P uh, NPN transistors so you need a minimum amount of uh, base current to allow 
a specific amount of uh, collector current so I thought maybe the AT8980 uh, S8089 S52 uh, can't source that much current so I measured the current coming out and it was a pitiful uh, 1 milliamp per digit I guess I don't remember um, so I used these pull-up resistors uh, to boost up the current and now as you can see it's quite bright and um, uh, I've measured the current going to the ground it's about 22 milliamps uh, but this one here uh, doesn't uh, th uh, for this one uh, for this one it doesn't uh, the IC the microcontroller doesn't source or sync current uh, directly to the seven segment but this does this uh, syncs the current um, because uh, well not directly yeah directly uh, these pins are all connected to port zero so um, whichever display is on it's uh, syncing the current through the microcontroller and that is also within spec because I've measured the uh, current there and it's about 4 milliamps and the data sheet says if my camera will zo uh, focus yes uh, as you can see there's a maximum uh, current for uh, output uh, low so when the uh, pin is low it can sync 10 milliamps of current uh, per port pin and the maximum a port can handle is 26 uh, uh, for port 0 it's 26 milliamps and we're just thinking about um, uh, most uh, mostly uh, um, 10 milliamps so uh, it's certainly within uh, spec so I'm not uh, damaging the uh, uh, microcontroller or anything So we just talked about the hardware of this uh, circuit. Uh, another thing I just noticed is that you'll see the tail of 6 and 9 missing. The segment A and D are missing from 6 and 9. And that's because that's how uh, the code is in the 4511. You can't do anything about that. Anyway, let's talk about the software now. And if my camera will focus. Okay. So we just declared some volatile uh, variables. Oh, it's gone again. And digit is. Uh, is digit control switch digit is going to be selected so we have three digits so one two and three and digit one two three uh, these three right here digit uh, underscore one two and three these uh, contain the uh, digit one contains the hundred uh, positional value uh, digit 2 contains the 10th positional value and digit 3 contains the unit positional value um, so if uh, if the value we need to show is 512 digit 1 would contain 5 digit 2 would con uh, contain 1 and digit uh, 3 will contain 2 then timer counter and then buffer and then the ISR but let's talk about the ISR 
after we've discussed the main program so in the main program um, we just uh, set up the timer 16-bit timer nothing fancy there and in the while loop uh, we start from let's start from here uh, well if the value is over 999 and it resets to zero and then buffer buffer uh, equals timer counter divided by 100 that is because let's say the value uh, we want to show is 512 we if we divide that by uh, its uh, 101 in binary um, 5 uh, not the whole thing just 5 is binary 101 anyway 100 if we divide 512 with uh, by 100 we get 5 as a result so buffer is now con uh, buffer now contains 5 and if we want to get the tenth positional value which is 1 in this case uh, we uh, get the remainder and divided it by 10 and the result will be the tenth positional value which is 1 in this case and we did just that here uh, buffer uh, take the remainder or of the timer counter if divided by 100 and uh, then oh the top one take the remainder of the timer counter uh, after dividing by 100 and then divided by 10 and that is exactly what we did we divided the 512 then took the remainder and divided it by 10 which gives us 1 which is the 10th positional value in this case and then the unit positional value is obtained by getting the remainder uh, of the remainder and that is done just here so take the remainder of by dividing the hundred and uh, timer counter with hundred and then take the remainder of uh, the remainder of the anyway get that you get the point and uh, we do some fancy stuff here when I we load digit one so what I d uh, we did uh, here is this is the eight bits of port two uh, uh, these are these four are connected to A0 to A3 of the 4511. This is digit control 3, digit control 1, and digit control uh, sorry, digit control 3, digit control 2, and digit control 1. And this uh, seventh bit is unused, so uh, we don't know what there is because we might use it for something else so we don't want to whatever we do to port 2 it shouldn't affect this bit so what we do is and it with 80 which is 1 and then 6 uh, 7 uh, zeros and then we just clear all the bits of the port 2 and this is why we write p2 and uh, end it with uh, a uh, hex 80 so that's the first part there p2 and 80 and then uh, let's say uh, for digit uh, 1 we need to show 5 so the v buffer already contains 5 and the f uh, binary value for 5 is uh, 101 so here's the buffer we or it with 4 because to display 5 we need to set uh, the si uh, 6th bit because that's where the digit control of digit 1 is connected to see D1 and D1 is port 2 6th bit so we need to set that 
to active the uh, turn on the uh, di uh, display digit one so we do that or it with buffer so now this contains uh, the digit we want to show in four bits and with these three bits we can say which uh, digit to turn on this is for digit one for digit two we need to set this one so that would be uh, uh, hex 20 and for digit one we need to turn on this bit we need to set this bit so it's hex uh, 10 so these uh, this result and this result is ORD so now we leave the uh, seventh bit unaffected and we also have set uh, the display uh, the digit to display and the uh, display which is active so in this case this is digit one and for uh, other dis uh, other uh, digits we do the same thing now let's talk about uh, the ISR I know I'm not that good at explaining stuff if this thing will focus nope nope not cooperating at all no this piece of junk uh, that seems to have fixed it anyway so the ISR doesn't do much uh, ignore the comment that was for checking the frequency of refresh uh, I was just checking uh, this was for uh, debug debugging purposes and we turn the timer off uh, a switch case statement if the digit one uh, digit contains one then we turn on digit uh, we send the data uh, digit one to port two and then increase the digit so next time the ISR hits the value of digit is two so we go to case two and uh, this, uh, just load the digit two into port two and send it to and the display um, and case 3 uh, so when this before this breaks from case 2 it increments the digit to 3 and next time the interrupt happens it goes to uh, case 3 and uh, sh uh, shows the display uh, shows the digit 3 and then turns the digit to 1 again and then breaks and this continues I hope that made some sense uh, I do these videos so that I've tried documenting uh, my projects a lot but I can never seem to get much help from my past and I hope the future me will kind of get what I'm trying to uh, explain here so yeah thanks